Welcome, my name is Ibrahim Ali Kamara. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, sharing and liking my videos. In today's video, we are going to look into Portfast and BPDU guide in Spanning Tree. So, Spanning Tree, when we talk of Spanning Tree, before switches start to forward frames within a network, it will take up to 50 seconds to transition a port to forwarding states so to prevent this time because 50, uh, 50 seconds is a long time within a production network to keep you waiting so to prevent this we need to disable spanning tree on the port to make the port transition to forwarding state immediately because with port fast now we can able to disable spanning tree on every each port either globally or in the in uh, in the interface mode with this we can able to configure a, a switch or, or an interface wherein the interface will start to move or to forward packet straight without wasting time, without waiting for, without going through the spanning tree stages like, stages like the listening stage, the learning stage before going to the forwarding stage. That will take a lot of 50 seconds time. But we're just disabling, if we can just disable this switch, the the interface uh, spanning tree on this interface or within the switch itself it will definitely help us while in the the switch will forward or the interface or the port will forward frame straight without wasting time but the other thing you need to be very very be careful when configuring port fast within switches because we just with just a mistake a slight mistake you will do while in Someone come with the someone come with 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 uh, with a different switch connect interconnect this switch while in that port is already the in that particular port is already a, uh, a disabled in spanning tree definitely a loop will occur which will cause a broadcast storm within your network so when implementing port fast within a network we implement what you call BPDU guide. So configuring port fast within the switch. These are the configurations and this now uh, within the command line. Uh, within the command line, you can either implement port fast in an interface mode wherein after going to the interface F0 slash one. Now you go to the interface of this F0 slash one with this command spanning to report fast. Definitely that port you have disabled spanning trip from that port. Now if you connect any endpoint PC. Or any node within this particular port F0 slash one that port will forward frame without waiting for spanning tree because you have already disabled spanning tree within that particular interface. We can use we can configure spanning tree uh, port fast in two ways within the interface or globally. While in the global configuration, you use the, this uh, this command spanning tree port fast default. When you implement spanning tree port fast default. This will configure this. This will enable sp uh, span and uh, port fast in all the interfaces within that particular switch. But if you just use the spanning tree port fast only on this interface, only this interface F0 slash one will have that spanning tree port fast enabled. So you need to know the differences when configuring it in the global configuration or the interface mode. So, but the beauty part if you configure spanning tree port fast within an interface or globally always configure a port a bpdu guide to protect the switches so now we move to the bpdu guide spanning tree bpdu guide so why do we need bpdu guide within an interface or within the switch because well, this will help us to prevent a loop from being formed within a, a port fast enabled port which will cause a broadcast storm because if you disable Port fast. If you disable spanning tree within an interface or group, uh, with, within a switch, what will happen? If you interconnect, like for example, if we interconnect these three switches now, these three switches now, wherein we have disabled all uh, spanning tree within these interfaces, that this will cause a loop. Wherein, if we uh, we configure port fast, it will cause a loop. So to prevent this loop from f being formed on port fast enabled port, we will call, which will cause a broadcast stop. We need to enable a BPDU guide to keep watching for a PDU frames that will be sent through this. This, why? Because 
This happens because users add a device to the network or moving cables within a switches. Let's say for an example now. A user a, a user may come in while in come with come in with a switch, take this switch, this this switch, this cable here from this PC to this switch, let's say F0 slash 1, this cable is connected to F0 slash 1, let's say a user may come in with a switch, disconnect this, this cable from this switch, from this, from this PC, connect it with a switch, maybe with another switch, because he or she wants to add more devices to the, to the network. While in now, this interface is already port fast, if you connect it to another switch, a loop will occur within the network. So we need to prevent this from happening within our network. That's why. So configure now BPDU guide configuration within your network. What will happen? We can configure this with, with, uh, in two different ways. One, you go to the interface. You can configure it in the interface mode or the global configuration mode. Like F0 slash 1, which is this PC. F0 slash 1 interface connected to this switch. What will happen? We will go to the interface. Spanning tree, port fast. Now, spanning tree, BPDU guide enabled. You have enabled BPDU guide within this interface. Wherein, if this, if there is a BPDU sent through this inter interface to another switch, which which is enabled with port fast, BPDU guide will block that interface from sending any BPDU, so that a loop or broadcast dump will not occur within a network. So now, either we use this. Other method spanning tree port fast BPDU guide default with this command now in global configuration mode. If you implement this command within global configuration mode, what will happen? That in this, for an example, now within this switch, all this interface now will be will be a BPDU guide uh, enabled by default. So take note when uh, when configuring port fast after creating port fast, always enable BPDU guide. So keep watching for PDU, for BPDU frames to prevent a broadcast storm from happening within the network. So after this, my next video will be based on configuring uh, spot fast and BPDU guide in a physical switch. While I can show you the physical switch, how, how spot fast behave from the, from the switch to the PC itself. So guys, thank you for watching my videos, for liking my videos. It's a motivation. I will appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. Keep watching for more as we go along with the, the videos and doing a practical with physical devices. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and comment and share my videos.